All right, in a previous video, I showed you how to build a slideshow app. And essentially, if you test it out, um, you can click on this next button, and it just kind of walks through a series of pictures, you know, a slideshow. The last picture is Kamala. And so if you click on next, it goes back to the first picture. Now, the challenge here is let's add a previous button. Right now, I've got the previous button. I added it. I named a pre button. Um, but when I click it, nothing happens. Okay. So let's code that. The first thing I'm going to do is just design wise, I'm going to um, change, uh, make it so these guys are next to each other. And there's actually a component called row, which makes it really easy to do that. So I'm just going to drag out a row. And then, you know, kind of what you need to do, let me move it down a little bit, is just get these two buttons inside it. And it's a little tricky, but there's previous. And then with next, just kind of make it so there it goes. So they're, they're right, right next to each other. Um, and you can fiddle around with the size of, of the height of this row, but let's just say we're going to make it relative size and I don't know, like 15%. Okay, so that's going to get it closer to our, our image. Okay, anyway, that's the way you can do side-by-side -side components. But really the challenge of this is, is to code the previous button behavior. And so I'm gonna bring out previous button and we've got the next button as a model. And with next button, we add one to the index, right? The index is this position number, which keeps track of where we are in this list. Um, with next button, we add one, which in previous button, I think we're gonna subtract one. And then we got to handle when we get to the end. Okay, of course, with previous button, we're not going to get to the end of the list. We're going to get to the front of the list. Uh, so anyway, first thing is let's kind of copy Command C and Command V. Um, this index, you know, this is incrementing, right? Let's just kind of move these guys over a little bit. Um, but on the previous button, instead of doing plus, we want to choose minus. Okay, so now, you know the index is going to get smaller every time. And right away, just with this, uh, well, actually, we need to make sure we show the picture, right? But we need to, after we change the index, is show the show the picture. Uh, so let's make some room here. And right away, just because of this minus we added in the previous button, if we go back and test our app, um, if we click next a couple times, um, previous will let us go backwards. Okay, the problem is it doesn't know how to deal with the end of the end of the list. Okay, so let's go back and you know just examine the next button. With the next button, if our index, if that variable that kept track of the position number, if it got too big, we wrapped it around and we made it one. So the length of our list is five. So if the index became six, so we added, it was five, we add one to it, it goes to six and we change it back to one and then things are cool. So what's the limit with the previous button? Yeah, it's not really dealing with the length of the list. The limit's really one, right? If, we have, if we're on one, if we're showing the first picture and we subtract one, our index is gonna be zero. Um, so we kind of can copy these blocks even though we need to change them and what we need to handle with the previous button is not when it gets bigger than the length, but we need to really say when it gets less than zero, or sorry, less than one. Okay, so it's out of range if, if, if it's less than one. Though the valid range for this list is one through five, right? So if the index, if we subtract one and it gets too small, then what do we want to set it to? Well, if we're showing the first picture and they click previous, we're gonna wrap around to the last picture. So we don't really wanna say one here. We could say five, but really that's kind of too specific. If we added items to our list, our code would get screwed up. Really, we just wanna change it to the length of the list. So how, oops, sorry, I copied a little too much when I did that copy. So let's get rid of that. I just wanna copy the length and what I want to do is, as I'm as the user clicks previous button, we're subtracting one from our variable. If it gets too small, if it gets down to zero or less than one, we switch it right back to the length of the list, which at least for the list as it is now is five. All right, I think we got it. Let's let's test our app out. So if I do preview, 
Um, if I click next, okay, it goes to the second one, previous back to the first. If I click previous again, it should go to the end, which is comma, perfect, okay. And I think I can just kind of keep going um, backwards in the list essentially.